Beautiful, beautiful. And Dragon, we've got you. Expect automated parachute deployment, and we have you on visual. Automated shoots. Wonderful to hear from the crew on the other side of the blackout period, the WB-57 high altitude aircraft providing that thermal imaging. We saw the tail of the entry of the vehicle itself. Absolutely Dragon, beautiful. GPS converge, expect nominal altitude for drugs. Copy GPS, nominal altitude. So again, nominal altitude for drogue deployment. That happens at about 18,000 feet. Uh, again, good news after good news, Gary. Uh, things are looking great for crew to return. I am loving this flight. That uh, that altitude expected one minute from now. Right as anticipated, Andy. Dragon, brace for drug window. The thermal imaging system on board the WB-57 is getting us great views of the capsule, but should give us equally good views of the drogue deployment expected seconds from now. The capsule is traveling about 350 miles an hour, and the drogue chute's job is to slow it down to about 120. Drogues deployed, confirmation. That'll slow us down from 350 miles an hour to 120 miles an hour. Dragon, video on two healthy drogues, descent rate nominal. Copy, great news. So in about 30 seconds. Copy, we heard the main. Endeavor, on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home to planet Earth. Hey, Chris, it's great to be back to planet Earth. Thanks to SAE and Jackson teams. Uh, it was an honor to represent you and work with all to our family. Look forward to seeing you soon. Splashdown confirmed at 7.33 p.m. Pacific, 10.33 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Four astronauts of Crew 2, Shane Kimbrough, Megan MacArthur, uh, Exploration, uh, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, all of them on board. Uh, truly an international uh, government and commercial joint effort to make something like this possible.
So this is this is the um, first fast boat. Um, right now, it is uh, essentially doing safety checks, uh, making sure that ordinances and hypergalls are uh, still not persisting in the area immediately around the vehicle. Um, they're also uh, doing um, essentially a an inspection of the capsule itself to make sure that it, integrity wise it is good uh, before we start to um, again rig the equipments for hoisting later on tonight. So again, it's it's going to take some time. We're shooting for less than an hour to bring the Dragon uh, Endeavor onto the recovery ship and to uh, open up the hatches and egress the crew or take them out and bring them onto the medical facilities. I can only imagine the views that were possible from right there in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, let's see, we do have a call in from Leah Cheshire, uh, NASA Communications, who's on the GO Navigator recovery ship and was able to uh, crew uh, enters into the uh, um, GO Navigator vessel and, and does those medical checks. What are the next steps to get the crew uh, home, uh, either in Houston or in the European Space Agency? It is an incredibly expedited process. Uh, so the crew members, after they've completed those medical checks, they will board a helicopter right here on the boat uh, within just a couple of hours of splashing down. And once that and the jet, which will take them back to their respective hometowns, especially those families that have been off. Dragon, SpaceX for status update. Go ahead, SpaceX. Breaking is complete, or approximately five minutes until capsule lift. Copy. see the person that is on the capsule itself. That is the rigger. They, uh, we just got confirmation that the rigging has been completed. Uh, now they are uh, essentially um, securing the, the Dragon capsule to all of the rigging hardware that was attached to safely lift it up and out of the water and onto the recovery vessel. And we're seeing motion of the A-frame now getting into position. The rigger making the final attachments necessary memory serves me right from previous recovery missions, the rigger will uh, jump off the capsule into the water uh, and make his way back into the recovery or, or into one of the fast boats after uh, he's done with this work. Dragon, SpaceX, brace for capsule lift. Copy, brace. There he goes, as expected, jumped into the water. His job complete, attaching the uh, all of the connection points to Crew Dragon Endeavor, making sure that it is stable as the A-frame itself, using hydraulic lifts, hoists Crew Dragon Endeavor out of the water onto that circular frame there you see at the base of uh, the ship. That is the Dragon Nest. And Gary, we are uh, in a in, in a slightly we're slightly ahead of schedule. We were expecting Dragon uh, lift to begin at L plus 38 minutes. It is L plus 30 minutes now. Uh, so things con things continuing to go smoothly as part of Crew 2's uh, return and recovery. Seem to get better and more efficient with each <laughs> mission.
the first crew member being egressed from Crew Dragon Endeavor. I got witnessed some applause there from some of the recovery personnel as well. It's hard to tell uh, which crew member that was. And we got confirmation that was Megan MacArthur. Uh, that was the pilot of the Crew 2 mission, the first crew member egressed.